Well, just uh, filled up with gas in two harbors. Probably should have filled up earlier. It's 314 up here. It's uh, 299 back in uh, at Woodman's in Montclair. And uh, as expected, it's kind of two harbors I kind of delineate is once I get north of two harbors, I feel like I'm almost there, you know, almost in the boundary waters. That's kind of a delineating line, I guess. And as expected, I am feeling like I made the right decision. Of course, it is raining. Uh, but yeah, I'm, uh, looking outside, I'm like, this is going to be awesome. So, really looking forward to it now. We've got a few more hours drive, but all good. Working on my sunburn. 100 in hell out here. October 21st. Back in that bay back right there is the 515 round coverage to Paulson that uh, the family took as a day trip back in July down to, uh, we started here and canoed and portaged back to Tuscarora, probably. Uh, we're going to go past, this point, past that point now and um, I'll rate it a little bit, uh, right, real close to the junction of uh, where the Ham Lake fire occurred. Yeah, Ham Lake fire behind us in 2007. Ham Lake fire occurred ahead of us in 2006. And uh, I haven't been this west on Seagull for over 20 years. The last time I was through here I was uh, pre children. You know. New territory, but definitely uh, territory I don't recall very much. So almost new. There's no sign of anybody. Oh, I'm kind of surprised, actually. I, don't know. I thought it's two things. I guess one is Friday. I really think that, that would be a busier day, and then two, it's the first day that you don't need a reservable permit, so I, I thought it would maybe be, be busier. I haven't seen anybody even at the campsite so far, so. Not that we've seen.
five star campsite on the west end of Seagull. Uh, it's 315, so it took me solo two and a half hours to get here. It is a nice campsite. I'm up on a rock here. It was like campsites with rock ledges, and definitely the, I don't know, for whatever reason, the fire didn't penetrate out here. So we got some nice trees too. Winds picked up a little bit. Um, kind of threatening potential rain. Although it doesn't look, it looks like it'll just rain. It won't be a thunderstorm, at least from what I can tell. Hey, there's some uh, mess. Look at these guys. There they are. Just hanging out. There they are. Wild chickens. Marina. Good thing Marina's not here. There's one more kind of roosting in a tree over here. Where is he now? There he is. Alright, it's 4.30. This is going to be my campsite for the night. This is the one... It's the four star right off the portage into Alpine. Okay, uh, this was my starting point right here, Seagull Beach, Seagull Entry Point. And uh, what we did today then was to paddle down this corridor. This is where I uh, head out, headed off across the, uh, the lake here, the open water a little bit more. And um, we checked out this five-star campsite because it was early enough in the day. We took this portage here, 105 rods, into Alpine. And I am right here, right at this first campsite. It's marked four. Another uh, first happened to me last night, middle of the night. I didn't know what time it was at the time. All of a sudden I heard, I woke up, I'm assuming because I heard voices. And I assumed it was people that were camped over at the other site across the lake. But then I saw lights flashing on the tent, on my t outside of my tent. And, you know, the sound of people paddling in the water, middle of the night. And, uh... You know they're getting closer and closer to the campsite and i can now i can hear them talking and then it kind of quieted down and uh all of a sudden i hear somebody walking like on you know right near my campsite or on my campsite flashlight comes up and uh then he turns around and goes back down and i hear him say oh there's somebody here and so i'm like what the hell time is this you know it was pitch black out, um, so I, I turned on my phone to see what time it was. It's three thirty in the morning, and uh, I don't know how many. You know, there was at least two canoes. Um, <laughs> these guys were paddling in the middle of the night. I got a got I got out of the sleeping bag, turned on the light, and that's when they they must have left because I figured, oh, this guy's getting up. Uh, it was very odd. Never had anything like that happen where somebody comes at 3.30 in the morning into your campsite. Picture taken at 10.04 October 2nd.
when I said I was going to give it to you because I didn't like it, but just because I was using it wrong. I'm using it backwards, man. My arms got joints got all sore and everything. But uh, I like it. All right, so I just uh, left my sight on Alpine, October 2nd, 2021, um, the people that were camped on the five-star site left earlier than this morning, but I left about a half hour ago, so I'm going to check out that campsite and see if it's over the other five stars before we head on. Four, maybe two, um, two canoes, four people in there, and then uh, two canoes and five guys just went by. They're all heading in the out direction, whereas I'm heading in the in direction. I'm wondering if those guys were the guys that. Uh, Stopped down my campsite at 3.30 in the morning last night. A little bit cooler today, I'd say it's upper 60s. Definitely more overcast. We're going to see the sun in all the way, I guess. Very chill. So I just checked out the uh, five star stay on Alpine, and yeah, it's a very nice sight. But the only two negatives going for it. It's nice and big, nice and flat, good trees. Probably the only thing negative going for it is that the fire you don't get a, a direct view of the lake from the fire pit. And I guess when you're sitting out on the rock here, there's definitely views of other campsites. That, yeah, it was it's a nice site, really nice site. So today the plan is to paddle through Alpine, Red Rock Lake, and uh, get into Saginaga. We got a little bit of a paddle on Saginaga to get to where I want to spend the night. Seems like everybody I've seen so far is heading out. So we'll see. Sure, we'll run into somebody. All right, we're at the uh, portage. We got to paddle through Red Rock here, and uh, there's a 10 rod portage into Red Rock Bay, which is, uh, connects directly to Saginaga. In case you didn't hear my story before, my one memory of Red Rock Lake here. That has to be over 20 years ago now, but it was a very windy day. And the wind was at our backs, fortunately. Uh, so we took the uh, dining tarp that we had for the trip and rigged it up on the canoe with a canoe paddle and some line to make a sail. 
and uh, it's one of the few times that that actually worked. We, we didn't have to paddle at all up until the point where you know, we had to go in the direction that the wind wasn't blowing us. But we were cruising along pretty good, I remember. Just made the short 10 rod portage to um, Red Rock Bay. And I think I'm gonna find one of the early campsites here on this bay and stop for a lunch break. Weather is consistent. It's in uh, about 70 degrees, humid, and um, slight mist pretty much all morning here. I think it's probably close to about 1 o'clock now. So, no more portaging today. Uh, I'll just be paddling up into uh, Saginaga through the bay here. So. so, I've got some time. I might stop by and just kind of check out these campsites, give them some ratings. Didn't see anybody on uh, Red Rock Lake. It was deserted. You probably will see some people on Saginaw, I'm sure. Second campsite on. Red Rock Bay. Weather's looking a little more threatening to the west, so I think I'm better skedaddle. I'm going to stop at the third one here, though. Um, and I can see the opening now into Big Sag. Shrouded in fog a little bit, but definitely see the opening of it. a motorboat before. That's the one downside camping on Big Sag, but I think I'm gonna go out there anyway. Don't imagine it'll be too terrible. A lot of exposed sand on the shore here. I'm guessing is probably not typically exposed with the water level being down the way it is. There's a little beach here on the eastern shore. paddling for about I'd say probably almost an hour in the rain now 
all of the campsites except for a really crappy one were taken <laughs> up where I wanted to camp on Saginaga. So I am now heading into Devil's Walk Bay where there are two sites that I hope one will be open. Yeah, it's steadily raining now. And that's the direction I'm gonna be heading. Okay, October 2nd, I am in the tent. I got it set up, it's, rain, it's still raining. It's been raining since about 1.30. Uh, it's four, did I say it was 4.30? Yeah, it's 4.30 now. Uh, it's been raining for the last three hours. Paddled through the rain a couple hours, so I'm pretty soaking wet. Uh, set the tent up in the rain too, so the inside of the tent is wet as well. So I've got uh, my sleeping bag inside a uh, Gore-Tex bag so that uh, the sleeping bag doesn't get wet. Uh, touching the bottom of the tent, the floor of the tent. I have some water dripping through um, the tent as well, so... Um, It'll be just kind of a challenge, I guess, to continue to keep the sleeping bag dry. But I am warming up now. It was cold with the, the wetness. And I think I'm just going to hang in the tent here for about an hour. Maybe take a real brief nap uh, before I get up and maybe make some supper in about an hour or so. Enjoying some hot chocolate gonna read a little bit take a little nap and then uh, we'll get up for supper hopefully by that time the the rain will have stopped um, October 2nd it is about six o'clock I did take a little nap inside the tent got up and it had stopped raining which is nice. Everything is pretty wet though. Um, got supper cooking in the uh, bag or warming up right now in the bag and I'm going to write in my journal about the goings on of the day. You can hear some motorboats over in Saginaga. And uh, going to eat some supper before I head back into the tent. Definitely change in the temperature. Kind of cooled off. I'm wearing a coat now, jacket. Of course, I'm wet too, so well, got mostly dry clothes on, but my hair is wet and a little bit of a breeze here to kind of cool things off. Kind of hoping it stays dry overnight. Dry some of this, uh, especially like the tent and the rain fly off. Tonight's supper is butter bean ragout. Gonna have that on a few of the leftover tortillas. Tomorrow uh, we'll be heading from, uh, I got three, well, if I want to get all the way down to Seagull, it'll be three portages. Probably stop in Grandpa Lake. There's two campsites in Grandpa Lake, and I'll see if, if they're not occupied. I'll check them out at least. The site I'm on here, like I said, I think I rated it before, it's probably about a C. There's really only the one spot where I've got my tent, which I can turn around and show you. That's really the only spot there is for a tent here. Everything else is graded so we got about a C the site is, you know, other than the fact that there's not a great spot for a tent the fire pit yeah everything's pretty much just C at least there's some trees 